Hi dear friends, welcome back. Welcome back to Lesson for you. Dear friends, as you know that we have started to discuss about the structure of the human eye, right? So in the previous two lectures, I have just introduced the eye and what are the outer landmarks and markings of the eye. We had covered that. Now we are starting uh, to discuss uh, the eye, each part of the eye in a detail, right? So as you can see here, I have drawn a diagram and this diagram shows the cornea, right? So right now we are discussing about the structure and functions of cornea. So let me write here, uh, cornea. What is cornea? Look carefully, let me draw a diagram, a very simple diagram here. Friends, as you know, in the previous lecture, I had told you that our eye is a globular structure, right? Like this. For example, this is the sclera, right? And here we have an interior bulging. For example, if I'm standing like this, so you are looking from the lateral view. So here in the front or interiorly, we have an interior bulging right so this interior bulging of the eye is called the cornea you can see it here if the person is standing like this so this part this interior bulging of the eye is called the cornea right so we are discussing the structure and functions of this cornea right so what is cornea this cornea is a transparent part of the eye and it is elliptical in shape so you can see here it is like this right so we say it's an ellipsoidal shape or elliptical so look light when light rays come these light rays can pass through this cornea so we know that those objects which can give way to the light from which the light can pass right so those objects are called the transparent objects so our cornea lets the light to pass from our cornea light can pass so we say cornea is a transparent object so what is cornea cornea is the clear transparent elliptical structure of the eye it is a clear transparent elliptical structure <clears throat> right this is a one definition the next definition of the cornea we say that the interior bulging out part of the eye is called the cornea right so we say the interior bulging of eye is called cornea or we say the interior one by sixth part of eye is called cornea look here from here up to here whole eye is divided into six parts six parts right so look in these six parts one part is the cornea and the posterior five by six is the sclera right in the next lecture we are going to discuss about sclera don't worry so posterior 5 by 6 part of the eye is sclera and interior 1 by 6 of the eye is your cornea right so we say interior 1 by 6 part of the eye is called the cornea done then what is the diameter of this cornea diameter so to know about diameter of the cornea we should draw the cornea from interior view also for example if this is an eye right this is an eye and here we have our cornea right <laughs> this is the cornea <laughs> so here this will be your sclera right and this is your cornea so the cornea is oh, sorry the sclera and the cornea are uh, have a junction here right the sclera and the cornea have a junction here and this junction between 
the cornea and sclera is called the limbus limbus or we call it the corneoscleral corneoscleral junction right corneoscleral junction so look carefully what is the diameter of this cornea it's so simple look carefully if we say the vertical diameter right vertical and horizontal so both of them have only one degree difference right so the horizontal diameter is 12 mm right and the vertical diameter is 11 m m or millimeter right so let me write it here horizontal diameter horizontal and vertical diameter so horizontal diameter as we have written there is 12 millimeter and the vertical diameter is 11 mm then this was the diameter then what is the thickness of the cornea thickness look carefully if you want to talk about the thickness of the cornea so look carefully I, I will pick up this structure and draw it here and I will a little bit enlarge it so look you can see here look for example this is the, the, the cornea so the thickness here you can see is a little bit more but in the center the thickness is a little bit smaller so here we say what is the thickness in the center and what is the thickness in the edges uh, just write it edges or we can also say in peripheries peripheries so what is the thickness in the center so in the center of the cornea the thickness is about 0 0.52 mm let us write it here the thickness in center is 0 0.52 mm m or millimeter and the thickness in the edges or peripheral let's write it as edges is 0 0.67 millimeter we can see here in the edges or the periphery the thickness is a little bit more than in the center of the cornea done this is the thickness then what is the optical zone right optical zone it means that from which part of the cornea light can easily pass right it means that from which part of the cornea light can pass so light can pass from the center 1 by 3 of the cornea right so from the, the part of the cornea which allows the light to pass from it that is called the optical zone so the optical zone is the central one third of the cornea central one third is called the optical zone done okay the next important thing what is the refractive index of cornea refractive index what is mean by refractive index so if you have studied physics I will show you right now here if you have a glass right and inside this glass you have poured the water and if you dip a pin in this water right you have brought your pin up to here then you will see that the direction of your pin will a little bit change the direction of your pin will change a little bit so this is called refraction refraction right so our cornea when light passes through it look carefully when light comes and passes through it it a little bit change its direction like this so we said this is the refraction or this is the refractive index of the cornea so what is the refractive index of the cornea so it's about 1.37 1.37 why does it do like this because 
it wants to focus the light on the lens like this right so when the light ray comes straight and it touches the cornea it shows a little bit bentness bentness right so this is called the refraction of the light so who do this who is responsible to refract the light the cornea is responsible to refract the light so this is called the refractive index of the cornea so it's about 1.37 done then the surface area of our cornea surface area right so the whole surface area of the cornea if you uh, make uh, if you want to measure the surface area of cornea from any side that will be 1.1 centimeter square right so the whole cornea is 1.1 centimeter square if you want to uh, if you want to measure it from any side that will give you 1.1 centimeter square surface area then we say what is the blood supply of the cornea blood supply <laughs> right so the blood supply of the cornea there is no blood supply of the cornea we say that cornea is a vascular and it has no blood vessels why because nature has provided no blood vessels because nature wants us to see the objects clearly so if there were blood vessels there would be fluids and plasma and everything there so light would not be easily passed through that cornea and we will have we would have uh, difficulties in, in seeing the objects clearly right so cornea is avascular cornea has no lymphatics also we say that it does not have any lymphatics but it is innervated well right so the innervation is provided by fifth cranial nerve right it, uh, the, the fifth cranial nerve give branches and these are called the ophthalmic branches right so we say the cornea is innervated and which kind of uh, innervation mostly mostly sensory innervation right it does not have any motor innervation so we say mostly the cornea is innervated sensory and uh, from where does it get that it gets uh, that from ophthalmic branch of ophthalmic branch of fifth cranial nerve right this was about the innervation now we move towards the structure of cornea uh, that what is cornea made up of so in a big diagram i have shown its structure there also you can see it there but uh, right now we are not going to focus on this diagram we will draw a very a little diagram here a very small diagram here and we will uh, we, we would want to know all those uh, structures which are present there in a simplified diagram then we will uh, jump to that diagram also look carefully for example if this is your sclera right this is sclera and here is the cornea I'm sorry this is the cornea so the cornea is composed of five layers right so let me write here structure of cornea structure of cornea right cornea is made up of how many layers five layers right and what are those layers look carefully here the outer epithelium first of all there is the outer layer and this outer layer is composed of epithelial cells and I will show you there also. So this is the outer epithelium. So let me write uh, those parts here. Uh, the first layer, the outer layer, outer epithelium. Right, let's know about it. The outer epithelium is about five or six layers, five or six layers of epithelial 
cells and which type of cells there are three types of cells present there so let me write the, them also here the first one the basal columnar basal columnar cells right number two there are the wing cells wing cells and number three there are the outer flat cells present there the surface cells we say surface cells and the surface cells have a very special feature I will show you there done then there is another layer which is made up of collagen fibers another layer which is made up of collagen fibers and this layer is called the Bowman's layer right this is called the Bowman's layer so the second layer of the cornea is called the Bowman's layer right this Bowman layer when it it's when, whenever it is damaged it does not repair itself so there, there will be the scar formation there will be difficulty in seeing the objects clearly so it will form the opacity right so Bowman's layer is made up of what Bowman's layer contains uh, uh, the uh, collagen fibers collagen fibers done and the next important thing about it is that it is a cellular it does not contain any <coughs> cells right so th there is the Bowman's layer then the third layer which occupies the most mm, of the thickness of the cornea and the third layer is called the stroma of the cornea what the stroma of the cornea